Yeah, when I played Dead and Buried, I came out of it, uh, took off the headset, and I was all sweaty, right? Um, well, you're moving. <laughs> yeah. I, I literally ripped pants the uh. first time I was playing that game. <laughs> I, you, there's a barrel in front of you, and people are shooting at you, and I dropped down and uh. in the middle of work, dropped the, yeah, ripped but pants. It, it sort of reminds me a little of Pokemon Go. And, you know, you're getting exercise, you're getting off the couch, yeah. you're, you're doing something. Um, you know, I, I wonder what your Pokemon Go is going to be. Yeah. You know, what is, what is the killer app for VR? Well, that, and that's a good question. Um, Pokemon Go had the advantage that it had Pokemon in it, which mm -hmm. is a massive intellectual property. Mm -hmm. uh, and it hit exactly the right chord with that intellectual property. I think over time we'll have more massive IPs in VR, and that will definitely help. But also, um, you know, we're figuring out exactly what that game is for us. And I would say Pokemon Go is a very... It's an awesome location-based game. Is it AR as AR is going to be in the future? I don't know. Um, we're all exploring in both AR and VR. Um, and it'll be a while until we hit our halo.